guys welcome to mtno business complex my name is martin luther king people call me jack if today is your first time of meeting me on this platform congratulations if you are with me here already then thank you for coming back it's been a while i posted here due to stress and the busyness uh, it's become a bit difficult on this platform we talk about a lot of things including snail farming well basically snail farming is what we started talking about here uh, but we want to expand our horizon we'll be talking about many other kinds of businesses apart from farming we will also be talking about uh, different types of businesses business ideas that are in africa that as a youth you can do to make money to survive we will also be recommending to you different ways of surviving including traveling abroad how to get a good scholarship to travel abroad how to school abroad for free how to do many other things just to earn a means of living taking care of yourself and your family so if today is the first time of meeting me here don't forget to hit the like button and the subscription button but today i'll still be talking about snail farming because i've been having a series of questions series of emails and uh, whatsapp messages from friends clients asking me why they are doing everything correctly but their snails are dying let me take you back to 2017 that is when i started my first snail farm i bought about 80 pieces of snails that is the akatina akatina i kept them in an enclosure in a, a small kitchen that i was using i got a box a wooden box and i kept them there i was feeding them doing everything some of the snails started laying eggs along the line then about uh, one month to two months i started noticing that my snails have started getting weaker and weaker and weaker by the day as you can see from the pictures on the screen i watered them i did all i could they were getting weaker some of them were dying i picked some of them out i washed them i cleaned them i did everything i could but the snails kept dying until I went back to do some research and I spoke to one of my professors who taught me and the first question he asked me is there enough oxygen at the place where I have kept the snails I couldn't answer him because I knew that yes I haven't done something correctly to my understanding I thought everything is alright but after he asked me that question I knew that yes the snails were suffering from a lack of oxygen there isn't enough air inside the pen that was the main reason today i want to take you through 10 reasons why your snails are dying in your farm you think you are doing everything correctly you think you are doing everything all right but the snails keep dying follow me as we talk about this 10 reasons why your snails are dying in the farm number one lack of moisture so i will take this in two forms lack of moisture i'll take it in two forms now when we say moisture some people mistaking moisture for water well there are some pens or some farms there is very little adequate of moisture in the farm snails are animals that need enough moisture in order to survive because they are cold blooded animals yes some people instead of making the, the pen or the farm wet they pour water they don't sprinkle they pour that's one factor but lack of moisture in the farm entirely 
makes your snails die. But don't also make a mistake that you are providing moisture in the farm. For that matter, you are going to be pouring water in the farm. You need to sprinkle. So if you are using the greenhouse, you need to use the sprinklers. If you are not using the greenhouse and you are using the manual way or the normal way, you need to sprinkle the water. You have to sprinkle. You don't have to pour. So there are some pens when you go inside the pen, the pen is so dry. There are some pens when you go inside the pen, the pen has too much water. It's too much wet. So your snails are going to die. Thank you. Poor ventilation. When snails are kept in an enclosure where there is not too much circulation of air, it leads to lack of oxygen. The air becomes stale and then it brings about respiratory problems. If this happens, your snails will begin to suffocate and die due to lack of enough oxygen in the pen. This was what happened to me in 2017 when I had my snails, but the ventilation, because it was in the kitchen, the kitchen had no windows, and I've also kept the snails in an enclosure, a wooden box, where the air that comes in and goes out is very limited. For that matter, the air in the pen became very stale and the oxygen that was in the air was used up already. So they were breathing in more of carbon dioxide than the oxygen. So they get respiratory problems and they begin to die. So if you have your pen, instead of keeping it in an enclosure, it's better you keep it in a wide range area where there is enough circulation of air. So those of us who are into the green farm or green pen, we have no much problem due to the ventilation. But those of us who do the wooden and the wooden concrete, sorry, the wooden pen and the concrete pen, we sometimes subject our snails to lack of oxygen, and this leads to suffocation and they die. The third reason why your snails will be dying almost all the time is over crowding a friend sent me his picture a uh, picture from his uh, farm or the pen and i could see that a small space that is like uh, six feet by three feet that should take about let's say 30 20 to 30 maximum he was having about 180 snails in there now, when snails become overcrowded, something happens. They compete for space, food, water, and other resources, leading to stress. For that matter, they are going to die. Because this one will be climbing on top of this one, struggling for food and water. This one will also be climbing on top of this one, struggling for food and water. And by the time you realize you are in a big problem, almost one third of your snails will die within one day. So it is very important that you make sure that the snails have enough space to survive. They will be depressed. Yes, snails can also get depressed. Mind that. Inadequate food and water. Inadequate food and water is also one of the big problems in snail farming. Someone is able to raise 5,000, 10,000 snails. He's able to build a structure for them. He's able to produce all the environment for them. For the first one month, two months, three months, he's able to give them food. The snails will be doing well. Then after three months, four months going, there isn't enough feed for the snails. Thereby, they don't get the adequate nutrient that they want. They don't get the adequate water, healthy water they begin to get sick and die because they lack some nutrients like calcium, protein, and other minerals in their body in order to survive for you. Somebody will be like, oh, my village people are causing this problem. No, it's not your village people. You have decided not to prove, even you human being, if you don't eat, if you don't drink well, 
what happens to you? You get sick and die. Same thing applies to snails. If you don't give them the needed attention, like giving them the needed food with the right nutrient inside, they will die. Because of that, I have a program that I give to people on how to prepare snail feed for your snails. If you ask me, I can give you a copy of that. Number five, predators and parasites. Predators are animals that feed on other animals for food. They take other animals for food. So there are some predators like rats, crows and birds, snakes, like some reptiles like uh, lizards and frogs. They feed on snails. Yeah. So if your snail farm is too open for these creatures, they will come into your farm. They will eat up your snails. Some of them, if they even bite the snail for once, the snail will die. Yes. Some millipedes and centipedes are very poisonous. When they come into contact with your snails, the snail will die. Then we also have parasites. A parasite is any creature that lives in the body of its host or another organism and feeds from that particular organism all right so we have bacteria we have fungus which are disease causing organisms when they come into contact with your snails they will live in the snail eat inside the snail so when the snail get a little nutrient they share with the snail that goes on it will spread in your farm and many other snails will get into contact with this particular disease and they will die these are the first five of snail farming problems thing that cause your snails to die anyhow no matter what you do if you don't take off these five days your snails are going to die so easily let's go to the sixth one temperature extreme snails are creatures that don't need an extreme of a temperature so when the weather becomes very hot when the temperature goes beyond some level of degrees let's say 30 degrees upwards your snails will begin to die in some places when the temperature is upwards from 20 degrees upwards your snails will begin to die that is when we are in the dry season in africa we call it the hamatan where the weather becomes very hot where uh, the sun shines a lot things begin to dry like trees plants begin to shed their leaves yes your snails will start dying so at this point you need to make sure that the temperature in the pen is not too hot for your snails the opposite of this is when the temperature becomes too cold like five degrees zero degrees minus five degrees downwards even when you get to zero degrees you are already in ice so when the temperature in your pen or the surrounding or the locality becomes too cold you are going to lose your snails so there are some parts in europe during winter season they close all their snail farms because the temperature is not conducive for snails. But sometimes we girls in Africa are lucky to the extent that we can continue our farming no matter what season it is. That's why Africa is the best. Chemical exposures. We are farmers. Some of us raise the snails in our farm. We also plant crops like pepper, garden eggs, tomato, cocoa yam. Now, because we think we are farming, we apply some chemicals in our farm. We apply chemicals like fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides. When snails come into contact with these chemicals, automatically they lose their life. Yes. So when you're a snail farmer and you have other types of farms, you need to make sure that you separate the snails from any other crop that will require the application of fertilizers, application of herbicides, and pesticides. If you don't do this, you are going to lose your snails. It has happened a couple of times. Sometimes you can spray the chemical or apply the fertilizer this month. Three months time, there is going to be a rain. The rain will wash the chemicals from the top and bring it to where the snails are. You thought you have separated them, but it will carry these chemicals to where the snails are and then they are going to die. You need to be careful when applying fertilizers and chemicals in your snail farm. Diseases. Diseases. So, somebody will ask, is there a specific disease that affects or attacks snails? Well, there hasn't been any 
scientifically proven disease that affects snails but there are some bacteria there are some fungus or fungi when they come into contact with snails they kill your snails that's all so this happens when you keep leftover feeds in your farm for a long time when leftover feeds begin to rot in your farm they generate these kinds of bacteria and fungus that kill your snail for you so the best thing you have to do is make sure that keep leftover feeds out of the farm at least two days one day two days take it off it's very important if you do this you are going to save your farm because when one snail gets a problem since it lives in the pen with other snails it's going to affect all of them at the same time number nine genetics when we talk of genetics we are talking about genes generations descendants of snails some of these snails may be susceptible to let's say harsh weather conditions in the previous years their generations their uh, predecessors had some sicknesses and problems so as time goes on these sicknesses and these environmental harsh conditions will begin to come up again this lead to death and there is nothing you can do about it so maybe you want to pick your snail from some place where they have had these conditions before and you brought them as time goes on this condition begin to emanate and expand definitely your snails are going to die so you need to watch that also make sure when you're going to buy your snails you buy it from a correct trusted proven sources yes it's very important you need to know that you don't just go into the market and buy snails from the market women and come and start your farm you don't just meet someone who is selling snails somewhere and then you buy the snails and come and start with your farm. You need to go to a snail farmer who has been in business for three years, two years at least, who have had a cycle and has a proven track record that his snails are very good and from a good source. Then you can pick from there, then you start your farm. Let's talk about the, na the last one, stress. That's the last factor. So, even humans, we go through stress. How much more snails? Stress comes as a result of maybe prolonged mishandling prolonged transport weather conditions etc maybe you want to buy your snail from a place that is like five hours drive to your house maybe the people or the person who handled the snails for you didn't handle them well they pick them from here they drop them here they pick them from here they drop them here they pick them from here they... so by the time the snails get home they are weak already they will not die on the first day they will not die on the second day they will wait and die on the fifth seven eight days it happens so sometimes nothing will happen but the snail will die maybe it went through too much stress that's why i don't always advise you to buy your snails from the market women because they give the snails too much stress they are selling for consumption purposes they are not selling for rebreeding so if you go in there and buy it from them stress alone will kill your snails for you they will come into contact with salt pepper any harsh weather condition by the time you realize your snail is nothing these are the 10 things that will affect snails dying in your farm if you enjoy this lesson kindly put a comment if today is your first time don't forget to subscribe i'll be coming your way with other episodes we'll be talking about many different things people also ask me that the snail pens and their houses i should make video on that I have a video on the channel but the reason that people don't understand is i spoke in our local language which is Ghanaian language chi so i will make a duplicate is it duplicate another video of the same topic in english so that those of you who are outside the world you can also understand snow farm technology is one of the biggest thing that is raining now people are making millions from snow farming sometimes people will ask me should i travel or should I go into snail farming? That depends on you. We'll be talking about many other things. If you watch our other channel, we do a lot of vlogs over there. Empty No Networks. If today you are hearing of that, it's also our channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for putting this comment. I greet you. Bye-bye.